What's up, guys? So if you uh, if you watch the uh, the blower video, this is the same day, and I'm headed to another call. <laughs> and in it, it is raining again in Louisiana. It has been raining here non freaking stop, man. But I don't think it's actually raining right now. I think it's just falling from the trees because the sky looks pretty clear. So. It might just be a light, light drizzle. I can handle that. And uh, these people, they're hot. You know, they, uh, they sound like they want their air pretty bad. Excuse me. They're actually not but about 10 minutes from my house. I get a lot of calls out in this area because I live out here. And I have my yard signs in my yard. I have neighbors that have let me put them in their yard. Uh... I have yard signs all over this area because I've done work for these people and they're like, yeah, man, come put you a sign. So they see my sign, they see me traveling this area because I travel it all the time because I live right here. So I pick up a lot of work in this area. So let's go see what they got going on. Uh, sound like some very nice people that just want some air. We have a clogged drain line on an air handler in a closet. But there is a float switch. Her complaint was the out the system would run, and about 20 minutes after it'd be running, the outdoor unit would shut off. And uh, you know, I and when she told me the unit was in a closet, I was kind of worried because a lot of these guys around here don't use the closet float switches like I do. But I kind of figured it had to be a float switch issue, and that's exactly what it is. So we're gonna go and uh clear the drain out we're gonna use this little thing here to see what we can get out there and the shop vac and uh you know see what happens and they should be good to go after that drain's clogged Seem like we got much out of there. They're using uh, this as a coupling for access.
this one back together. I pour some uh, some coil cleaner. You know what? First, we're gonna suck this two-inch drop. Leave the other side on hook, pour some cleaner. All right, guys, so there, we're done here, and the reason that it wasn't draining is because. Uh, the pipe fell too low where I had that 90 um, because of that. No, I forget what they're called. It's not a no hub band. There's a, no, a maybe a fern co, but that could be wrong too. I don't know exactly what they call those little rubber couplings, but there is a name for them. So my dad would be really upset with me right now. If he's watching this video, I know he's probably like, really son, as long as, You've been with me. You don't know what that's called. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I forgot. But um, if uh, somebody does know, leave it in the comments because I cannot remember. I do like those uh, in the drain line. Not twice like they did. And I should have eliminated one. I should have eliminated the one right at the unit and just left the one down where it enters the two-inch drain. But I didn't. So I, I've even thought about using those... Uh, as well in in drain lines but only in one spot and like not right at the beginning or right at the end maybe like in the middle you know where you can take it apart and vacuum both sides uh i know you can use unions but here's the thing about three-quarter unions i've looked at them the damn hole is so tiny in the middle for it to drain i just feel like that could clog up really really easy so i i, I stay away from unions um but anyway, once I realized that the drain had failed, I picked, I put one hand under it, lifted it up level, poured the cleaner, it went right on through. I could hear it falling into the two inch trap. Uh, there, and now by the way, that wasn't just call cleaner, it was diluted with hot water. Um, so I poured that, it took it perfect. Then I went to the sink and filled the Powerade bottle up again with um, just straight hot water poured it down it went down perfect as well i've got to get some more thrift i've talked about thrift in my past videos of some white pellets that's activated by hot water i've got us i'm gonna make a list tomorrow because tomorrow i'm cleaning my truck out my dash is a mess my back seat's a mess the whole truck is a mess because we've been swamped over and i'm also going to talk about my truck in a future video we'll do its own video because i have an update coming on my truck so anyway they're good to go. So I think uh, I thank you guys for following me along today on this call and the previous one that you saw, the uh, blower motor. Not too bad of a day. I figured I'd get more than two calls and they both came right at the end of the day. You can see right here that it's starting to get dark. So uh, as always, guys, I do appreciate the support. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.